Hello everyone, welcome to happymath.com. So this time we will we continue about empirical probability problem. So this is the, basically about the rolling or die problem and the, based on this we want to find out this probability value. Okay, so we have two different choices here. So since we know all these frequ each frequency and total frequency, I'm going to make this center, sorry. Now, based on using the uh, uh, frequency divided by total frequency and find their probability. Or we can also do find their, their relative frequency, which means we're finding their decimal value basically. And then just, just to combine, I will just find uh, each case's probability basically. So this uh, video, we will use um, the relative frequency value and define their probability value. Okay, so that must be equal to each frequency now uh, divided by total frequency 29 here. Now we combine them. And make sure when you combine this, they must come out equal to 1. Otherwise, it is, it is not right probability value. Okay, so based on that, now probability 3 means corresponding to this case here, so you just make it equal to or three. That's the answer. The four or six, which means equal to four or six. That's the answer. At least the five means you combine five and six basically. So, so make it equal to uh, five or six here. And now at most four means from the smallest to uh, the four. So this time you can manually do this plus, this plus, this plus, this, or you can simply click or some button and then uh, highlight all those four. Then you will get the answer. Now, not odd number means or even number. So I'm gonna click or even number. Six. So that's the answer for this table. Okay, and now uh, using this collected um, data value, so we're going to construct a pivot table as organizing this data and then find uh, it, uh, those probability as well. Okay, so first of all, you highlight this table and click insert and pivot table here. Yeah, now I'm gonna uh, display the outcome is existing worksheet, so maybe around here. Yeah, okay, then it gives you a uh, pivot table range. Now I'm gonna click X is row, and then now X is also right here. So I'm gonna remove this temporary and we show it one more time. So do this to also the value here okay and now so this table basically shows that however you know as you see this title this is sum of each category which means uh one up here six times so this it shows that total sum basically so but we don't want that sum we want to uh how many are there so instead some of them you can click uh value field setting here and switch to count okay. and it, it can have a, a fixed now how many data appear for each category and now I'm going to just make highlight everything and then make center so look a little better okay and now one thing I want to show interesting so when I click um, so kind of a relative frequency value so equal to then now six divide by 31 here and copy this down and now as you see every value kind of um same so basically you copy the first one's probability value so unfortunately this feature doesn't work so we need to do something else okay so what i want to do now just um click the count of x here so highlight that and right click then you will see value field setting here and go to 
show values as and now here this blank click that you want to find out percentage of the parent row total okay and then, okay then you will show that percentage value instead so we want to use this one instead okay so and now uh, probably three means uh, this one enter now two or five here right so we could do two four so five enter and list three means you combine three through six so all of some and then i'm gonna do six enter then you wish um so I will, i'm gonna fix it anyway so later and the at most four at most four means four or uh, until four basically so I'm gonna create auto sum as, as well then into four and then not even number not even number represent all odd numbers so this plus this plus this enter okay so you see uh, something very interesting you know when I, I just click individually then you show decimal but when I just did order sum, it showed the percentage value, right? So I'm gonna just fix it uh, using the old decimal. So I'll click that. You highlight that. Basically, you highlight these two, and then go to the um, format cell, and then make a general. Then it will switch to basically the same as other value here. Okay. So those are those are the answer for uh, this probability question. Okay. So I hope you this video help you how to construct um basically empirical probability table based on uh, numerical uh, numerical nominal level value and then I will see you again with a different video. Okay, thanks. Bye.